Uh, hi, my name is Alan with JNRS in Duluth. Um, today we're going to build a little slat wall underneath this pergola um, on our fresh poured slab here um, just to get a little uh, screen from the neighbors. Uh, so throughout the day we'll show what we've been doing. So the first step will be to uh, put our end uh, two by fours on the post and on the wall, uh, which will get scribed into the top of the, uh, of the rafter on either end at the top. So we're gonna make a bevel cut to match the um, pitch of the roof, which is a 412. Uh, so we're gonna cut 18 degrees at the top and it's gonna end up being basically 18 degrees at the bottom of the rafter. Um, and the top cut will just be, will just be decorative. So um, we'll probably bevel the outside of that. Yeah, so I'm just setting, uh, getting this set to the wall right here, uh, checking the fit of the notch. And uh, I think that's gonna work just fine. And then we're gonna scribe the top um, to notch around the rafter um, and just kind of make a nice decorative looking cut up there so everything looks right. It's going to notch an inch and a half out of this side so that'll notch around the rafter um, at that 18 degree angle of the, the 412 here and then make that copy that same cut up top. to make the edge cut. I'm just gonna set the depth of the blade uh, to my line right there to the depth that I want that cut to be. So we're just gonna set this up to check the fit. Um, and then if it looks good, um, we'll figure out how we're gonna attach this to that wall. We'll probably use some tap cons um, and we may give this a bevel um, just at the top here, just to make it look nice. Grady, can you handle the bottom of this for me? And will that snap over our the ledge at the bottom there? The brick ledge, there we go. Okay, now is that for level or for plumb? Okay, so what I see is a little gap in the, in the uh, joint here. I think that's gonna come out when we attach this. We'll be able to pull these two together and take that out. Um, so I think we're okay. I think we look pretty good and we'll just make our decorative cut and we'll be ready to install the board permanently. So we decided to add a little 45 degree angle right here. Um, so we're gonna cut that 45 and we're gonna bevel the saw to 18 degrees while we do it, um, just to add a little decoration to the top. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is just send off the uh, uh, pencil marks that we made here and try and match the round over that's already on the rest of the two by four to our bevels right here. Just so it all looks nice and clean. Put the board in place uh, and mark where I want my tap cons to attach this to the brick. Uh, so all I'm going to really do is try and keep even spacing and make sure I'm not going to hit the mortar. I want to hit the center of the brick for a better chance that the tap cons going to grab on. So I'm going every seventh brick uh, just because I want to hit the middle of the brick. And if I do that, that's going to keep all of my spacing nice and even. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Um, that just feels like about the right amount of spacing. So seven bricks is working out in this situation. It could be different in a different situation. Okay, so now I'm just gonna drill each one of those holes with a quarter inch uh, wood bit, just a regular twist bit. Um, and then we'll, once we're to the wall, we'll switch to a masonry bit for our tap cons. This has got to be perfect. This is our final, so make it as good as you can get. Okay, now I remove the board so I can make sure I have the full depth of the screw into the brick and then we're going to clean the holes out uh, to make sure the uh, tap cons have a good chance that they're going to grab on like they're supposed to.
So we're just gonna uh, attach with our tap cons. Um, we should see them suck in pretty well flush right there. And uh, after cleaning the holes out, it seems like everything's gonna grab just fine. And this should work great. So the, the board is attached to the wall, good and secure. Um, so now I'm gonna try to address this little gap that we've got at the top here. Uh, hopefully that'll suck in with some construction screws coming through this way. Um, if not, we can take this rafter loose and, and just tweak it a little bit, uh, just so we make everything look good and tight. And that tightened it up just fine. So earlier we had, uh, we set, we got this one set. We had a line on the wall to know where we wanted to be with this two by four. Um, and that is in line with this post right here. Uh, so now that that's secure, we can come over to this post, do basically the same notch at the top that we did over there and uh, secure this one to the post. And that's gonna be the two outside points of our slat wall. Okay, the post is plumb. So we're gonna just go ahead and uh, set this with an even space all the way down and scribe the top of it to the rafter. Uh, just to copy the cut that we did on the other side. Lift that up, hold it up tight to there. And we're going to come right through it. So to secure this two by four to the post, I just laid out 16 inch uh, centers for each screw, uh, put a screw in each tick mark there, and then came back with my square um, off the center of that screw and just made sure they were all the same distance back. Um, this is finished work. You'll be able to see this forever, so it might as well be perfect for a screw placement and everything else. Okay, so our next step is going to be to add some slats uh, from, they're going to attach to the face of this 2x4 and the face of this 2x4. Um, I will uh, get those spaced all the way up. Uh, the slats are going to come level across here and then our two, but we're going to have three more 2x4s that will add uh, evenly spaced up to the rafter. Uh, Notch just like the first two were just for some support since we're outside in the weather, these uh, one by boards are gonna to wanna to move around on us. So that'll just kind of help keep everything tight over time. Okay, so I'm checking the slab for level. Um, it's looking pretty well perfect. So I'm not gonna to need to do any adjustments. Um, if I did have to, I'd probably just set one board here, one board here and uh, you know set the level on top and go ahead and just shim underneath these blocks and then leave that block wherever it needed to be. And then I'll set my first board on top of that. Uh, that way I know I'm starting level, and once you start level, everything will go just fine the rest of the way up. So with the stone at the bottom, uh, I want to scribe the end of the board to that. So what I'll do is set the uh, board onto the block like this, um, and then come over here and you can see that uh, we've got some, some shape to put into that to make that fit perfectly. So I'm just going to take my scribe and uh, set that to the, the, la the largest distance that I've got. And then we'll just scribe that board to, to match the shape of the stone. And we'll take that over to the jigsaw and make the cut. So I made the cut, the jigsaw left me with a little bit of a ragged edge, so I'm just gonna grab a piece of sandpaper to clean it up a little bit. All right, so I'm not quite happy with that yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and scribe it again. Sometimes you just have to do it a couple times, and we'll make another cut and try and polish it up a little bit.
Okay, and that's a little closer to what we're looking for. So with that, uh, now that we're happy with that, I can go ahead and mark the, the end and make our first length cut. Okay, and we're happy with that fit. So we'll go ahead and uh, put a couple screws at each end and then we'll just start using our spacer blocks. Uh, we'll, we'll scribe the next couple boards until we get to the flat part of the wall over here and then we'll just have uh, length cuts for the rest of the way. Okay, now that we're ready to start screwing, we're just gonna do two screws per board. I'm gonna pre-drill each one so we don't split the ends and um, we'll just take it from there and work our way up. Oh, and actually we're gonna get lucky here. Uh, we don't have to do any notches at all. We're into flat brick. So I'm just gonna give that a square up on the end and we can go ahead and carry on with our length cuts. Okay, the tricky part is done, the scribes are done, so now we can just go by measurements and just start to cut boards and attach them as we go. Yeah, square and end, and then 76 and a half. I'm just checking that these are gonna stay consistent so we don't cut too many boards ahead. Um, they're shrinking just a little bit, not more than an eighth inch. So we'll just uh, keep checking lengths as we go and make sure we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves and cut too many too soon. So we finished installing all of our slats. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is add uh, center support to all this. The original plan was to do three in the center, but since we finished this and we're looking at it, this looks perfectly sturdy uh, to just use one. And um, what that's gonna do is just keep, uh, as the sun hits it and the boards dry out, they get wet, uh, they're gonna wanna twist around a little bit and that's just gonna kinda keep everything steady and sturdy and where it is. So I'm gonna find center for our slat wall right here so I can make one more support that uh, that matches these two. And to do that, I'm gonna have to make a mark on the slab, which this is a brand new slab that I don't wanna put pencil marks all over. So I'm just gonna put some masking tape down and then I'm gonna find center. We'll use that center mark, go plumb to the rafter and make our marks to go ahead and scribe that in. And then we'll go ahead and attach the uh, support from the, the other side of the wall, just like we did on the ends. Okay, so we've got, uh, we're, we found our center. We've uh, got our board plumb and uh, you may notice we have a shim under the bottom of it just to keep it an eighth of an inch or so up off of the slab uh, that'll just keep it from wicking moisture up the board and making it rot before uh, it's time so uh, at, at that point we can just scribe just like we did these other two and uh, make our cuts in this board and we'll be ready to attach so now we're just going to have grady take the level and, and hold this this uh, new board plumb here and I'm going to come down and attach the bottom and that way we're going to know we're perfectly good and plumb. Okay. So as we uh, are working our way up, I noticed a little bow with the level against the board. So we're just using the level to straighten that board out. So we're going perfectly straight and I'll put one screw in the middle just to keep that from moving around as we're putting the last of our screws in.
Okay, so we've wrapped up the slat wall. Um, if you have any questions or comments about how we did it, feel free to leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.